Welcome back, Chris Mew here, and this time I'm going to talk about Shape Params node. This node is similar to Particle Flop Shen Control node, and it allows users to procedurally change object parameters or their modifiers on per particle basis and use the resulting object as a particle shape. Shape can also be changed throughout the particle life, it can be animated, and within the node base uh, workflow, you will see how powerful this node is. So, for start, we have this simple gen node that generates particle every 5 frames, so the birth rate is 0 0.2 and emits from frame 0 to frame 10. That's all that matters now, and you can see that we have a simple sphere, sphere here that has taper modifier that is animated between frame 0 and frame 50. So, I'm going to create the shape arms node and I'm going to pick this sphere. As you can see, as soon as we pick the sphere, it lists the modifier and its parameters, and at the end it lists the sphere and sphere parameters. So, you can expose as many parameters as you want, and each this parameter can be controlled independently. Now, for a start, I'm not going to expose any parameter yet, so we can see what this shape params node do without anything connected. As you can see, each particle gets the final shape of this sphere and the taper from the frame when it's created, and this shape remains, remains the same throughout the particle life. Remember that this simple gen node generates particle on this output pin only when the particle is generated, so once this shape is assigned, you cannot change it in this matter. However, we can create the group 1 node, which outputs the particles throughout this animation frame. As you can see now, all three particles will always have the same shape that's picked up from the time slider and from this sphere with the taper modifier. You can get the shape from another frame, you can for example get the simulation info node and connect this uh, frame which is equal to the frame of the time slider. It's basically as it is now the same as it if it's not connected but we can add here insert a math math node and let's say we can add to the frame current frame 15 frames so you can see that at frame 0 this shape will be equal to the shape uh, to the sphere at the frame 15 if you don't want to make any changes to the shape to keep it the same you can use for example the constant node and let's say also frame 15 so all the particles that are born and I get through this uh, node will have the same shape from the frame 15 now let's expose the taper amount parameter here and here we can connect directly taper amount and all the particles will have the same taper amount that we can change for all particles. Since this is the constant value, they will be the same. Now, let's create one simple sphere here. And inside the nodeworks, I'm going to create object test, object test node, and pick this sphere. And we're going to use the surface distance test type to get the distance between the closest distance between the particle and the sphere surface and use this distance uh, as a taper amount so of course we have to use remap value because distance is will be very, very large and we want taper to go between 2 and 0 so f when the particle is closest to the surface we're going to have a taper of 2 and for the further away particles then 50 units is going to be 0. 
so this result is going to mount and now you can see as particle approach this sphere the taper changes in this simple setup I'm going to show you how you can optimize your scene by using NodeWorks so we have a simple generate node that generates particles and place them inside this box and use position to set the output position for formulation object now we have the camera here with its field of view and we can use camera test node to delete all the particles that are outside our field of view I'm using the shape params node so we can procedurally change the scene object and assign a unique shape to each particle so we get asteroid field where each asteroid differs from one another for this we use the object in the scene which has large noise for the basic uh, deformation using this place for small detail if we check the scene summary info we can see that right now there are about 2.6 million faces which is quite a lot and if we check the wireframe you can see that at a distance there is unnecessarily too many faces please note that all the get particle group uses new particles for a filter so we work only on newly created particles so we do the camera test between the particle and the camera we use that distance and going to remap that distance into number segments so shapes that are closer to the camera are going to have more segments let's say 100 segments for all the particles that are closer than 700 units and so if we go into wireframe view you can check the the most distant ones will have let's reduce this so you can easily spot the graduation of the segments between the closest sphere and the most distant ones okay through this okay and when we check the camera you can see that the tri triangle size uh, screen wise is pretty much the same now let me open the summary info and see how many faces do we have now we're now down to 635,000 faces which is quite nice so you can see we're using the random number for the noise strength and we're using the seed number for this uh, noise modifier as if all the particles use the same seed the shape will be the same so I can do and that's it thank you for watching this video I hope you liked it and see you soon with more tutorials